Hi Owls, this is the next video in our series, this is problem number 2, here the statement goes like this. The gauge pressure in a liquid at a certain depth is given. The gauge pressure in the same liquid at a different depth is to be determined. So the assumption that is given here is that the variation in the density of the liquid uh, with depth is negligible, so we don't notice it at all. And then we're given that H1 is equal to 3 meters and H2 is equal to 9 meters. We're also given that P1 is equal to 28 kilopascals. So we have to find P2. So I will give you a few minutes to attempt the question. I will pause the video in 3, 2, 1. Hi, we're back. So let's do the question. So we know that we have two different depths and they're given here H1, then we have H2. So let's find the pressure at each of these points. For P1, P1 is equal to rho G. H1 and for P2 it's equal to rho the density times G times H2 rho is the density of the liquid and we know that the density of the liquid is the same so since we, so, so we have this rho we don't have but G we have and H we have here, this, this is what we want. Uh, rho, we don't need, but G, then H2, we have. So if you notice here, we can actually take a ratio of these two densities, of these two pressures. So do P1, so you can say P2 over P1 will be equal to rho g h2 over rho g h1 the densities are the same because the two are negligible g is the same as well as gravity then we are left with the ratio of h2 over h1 then if we cross multiply by p1 both sides We are left with this expression which says that H2 over H1 times P1. So we know that H2 is equal to 9 meters, H1 is equal to 3 meters, and then uh, P1, the pressure at P1 is equal to 28 kilopascals. Then if, if you put this to the calculator, this will give you 84. That is our P2. 84 kilopascals. It's important that we put in the units. And um, this is the end of the question. Remember to be wiser every day. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Also, you can 
was the first